for me personally, the reason why I joined GCR was I come from a traditional finance background. I thought the potential of community driven investing has a place in Web3, given the narrative that they want to empower the individuals more, right? People get used to to things how they are because it feels comfortable. We want to build like the friendliest, you know, most trusted, most progressive investment DAO out there. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of New Forum where we bring you awesome creators, founders, visionaries and investors on our web free community podcast and we are powered by New Foundation and it's our aim to spark informative and educative conversations on topics of crypto, the metaverse, NFTs and so much more and on today's episode I'm super happy to have with me Arthur and Jin from the Global Coin Research DAO and Global Coin Research is a community first research and investment DAO and a tokenized community made of builders, researchers, and investors from the Web3 space. And yeah, I'm going to talk more about what is really an investment DAO and how you can join and how the deals are flowing around in the DAO and what's happening in the DAO. So hi, Arthur. Hi, Jin. I'm happy to have you on today. Great to be here. Well, great to be here, too. Thanks for the invite. Yeah. Um. So, Arthur, like, could you tell us a bit about the story of behind Global Coin Research and what was the vision? How did it all got started? Yeah, for sure. So um, as you mentioned, Global Coin Research is primarily um, a research and investment DAO. We were very community focused and like everything is kind of um, focused towards like um, using community for sourcing and funding deals and um, and so on. So GCR was originally founded in 2015 and was started as an Asia tech news focused newsletter by Joyce Yang. It later grew into a global crypto publication uh, covering happenings in over 200 countries. As part of the C Club second cohort, GCR managed to create like a very small community of private crypto investors and researchers in Telegram first, and then later, um, as you know, became what is probably now one of the largest investment DAOs in Web3. So um, talking about the mission of GCR and I guess the vision as well, um, it's always been to democratize crypto research and investing. So we support passionate founders and builders by incubating them, investing in them, promoting them inside and outside the GCR community. We also want to educate individuals about how to think like investors. So when you join the community, um, we give you, you know, different opportunities to step up and participate in the investment process. Uh, quickly about what, you know, GCR can offer you is, you know, obviously many things, but Mainly, we have different partnerships and events. So either it's IRL uh, or Discord, or Twitter. Uh, we offer rich product feedback, which you know comes from early users, early community uh, members um, who are very knowledge knowledgeable about web free products and you know can provide very quick feedback. We also have a strong marketing arm. So. 30K plus um, research newsletter subscribers, with representatives from uh, Mazari, Coinbase, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, you name it. Obviously, uh, Twitter and exposure to other platforms. So we recently started testing <laughs> uh, waters uh, on TikTok and um, Instagram. And obviously, we have LinkedIn coverage. And finally, we recently launched GCR 2.0. And as part of GCR 2.0, there was a massive um, initiative called GCR Angel Network. So uh, through GCR Angel Network, we provide access to GCR's investors and partners. Besides that, we also provide valuable resources to help you with your recruitment, marketing research needs. And if you want to set up an investment DAO, we can help you uh, with that as well. It's really impressive to see what you guys have reached so far and like where you guys are going. And I think it's 
super important, especially our community is made of young creators and designers and young professionals. And I think to teach them about investment early and, you know, having like a group where they can do these type of things is really important. And that investors, they don't have to be always the big guys in suits, right? Like, so I think this, yeah, is, exactly. this is really great. So Jin, what is DCR DAO? And like, what are the, in your community, what are the most common things that you guys discuss? Like, what are the most interesting things for your community when it comes to investments? We are a DAO with the proper governance in place with tokens as a gateway for members to join GCR. So as of October 27th, we do have over 7,400 7, members at the moment on, on, on our Discord. Um, so we just released a 3Q investor update uh, that was published yesterday, which we will share uh, with the link. Check out our also website on it. Uh, but during past quarter, uh, Q3, we saw over 150 investment opportunities. And out of them, over 40% came from members instead of the core team members, which is a you know great sign given that we are giving members the opportunity to step up and participate in the process. But at the, at, the, at the same time, we're a generalist, quote unquote, investment DAO that would review everything and opportunistically invest in great opportunities where there are strong founders. But as of past quarter, infrastructure still remains the most prevalent investment opportunity at 38% of the deals that we reviewed, followed by consumer at 30, 33% and DeFi at 18%. But, you know, we still look for uh, NFTs and metaverse opportunities, but we're just far along infrastructure and consumer and DeFi. Amazing. So um, I'm also curious to know, like, how does the governance structure work if somebody joins um, the community? Like, how is the onboarding process? And if you could walk me through the token structure, but that'd be amazing. Yeah, so the onboarding structure is pretty straightforward. Um, anyone could theoretically join the GCR community, but there are four different types of tier at GCR. You could just join without any type of tokens, but you would not be able to access a lot of channels on Discord at the moment. But if you do want to invest with us, um, you do have to have a certain number of tokens. And if you do want to participate in the governance discussion proposals, you do have to have a token, uh, a GCR token for for you to participate. If you want to participate in investing and get access to deal flow, you do have to be a gold or gold pro members, which means you do, you need to have 700 GCR tokens to be a gold member, 2000 tokens to be a gold pro member. Um, if you think that's just too much of an investment at the moment, you could be a pioneer member that will allow you to dial into the community diligence calls that we do. But if in order for you to actually invest, you do have to have a certain number of GCR tokens to participate. Um, as a general GCR member, though, you could participate in any social and AMA events that we throw on our Discord or with our partners on Twitter spaces. So anyone's welcome. Obviously, if you join it out in the beginning, you might want to first test the waters, I guess, you know, and look around who's there and what's really happening. I think that's always important to feel like kind of what is this group about and yeah, who are these people and build kind of that level of trust when you join. And the more and more you get involved, you can, or the more experience you have, you can start with um, the different memberships. I, I'm curious to know on your side, like what are the benefits of being in an investment DAO? Yeah, um, that's a great question. I think um, Jin um, kind of explained really well, like what each of the membership tiers are. So, you know, based on the membership tier, you get different uh, benefits. So GCR membership benefits, uh, could include, you know, access to founders and investment deals, access to various events and competitions. Actually, for some competitions, you don't even need to um, be a member. So you can earn your way into uh, GCR um, or like the GCR membership. So maintaining at least the pioneer role indicates to us um, that you believe in the longer term vision, though. Uh, and um, the potential positive impact the community can make. So even if you're not working for a VC fund, you'll be able to participate in the deal process by um, sourcing, you know, leading diligence and supporting the founders. As I mentioned before, we, we want to democratize investing and provide a platform 
for everyone to participate and um, contribute. So wherever you're coming from, you know, interest is what's um, the most important. Uh, and if you're interested in, you know, deal sourcing and all those other things, you know, we can help you with that. So just a little bit more about the membership itself. Um, to claim and maintain your membership, you're required to hold GCR tokens without spending them. Um, like some other DAOs might have, you know, um, monthly fees or even daily fees or whatever. We don't have that. You only need to hold the tokens and kind of like go through the flow on Discord, connect your wallet, and that's it. You automatically get um, um, a different membership based on the number of tokens you hold. So although you're free to do as you wish with your tokens, um, you can sell or transfer or whatever, you may lose your membership if you move it. Um, so yeah, there's just one requirement, just, just have it in your wallet. And that just shows to us that um, you want to be a member of the DAO, you want uh, to participate, you want to have membership. You have that skin in the game. Um... Exactly. Do you also have a voting structure or how is there like a DAO proposals happening within the DAO? Yeah, obviously uh, we have a snapshot integration. So our voting process or proposal process is pretty simple. Basically, all you have to do is go on Discord um, and kind of submit a proposal there. It's like a it's a, a kind of called a soft proposal. And if you're a pioneer, you can vote on proposals, but um, if you're gold and gold pro, you can not only vote, but you can uh, submit and you know create proposals. So after that soft proposal passes, we uh, move to snapshot and that's where a so-called like hard um, proposal happens. And um, you know, based on the outcome of the vote, we kind of proceed with the core team will kind of proceed with the appropriate actions. So it's super simple. We don't want to overcomplicate, you know, members with governance. I know like no one likes governance. So we just want um, to just uh, take it out of the way, just have it very straightforward, simple and decentralized. Yeah, that's pretty good explained. And how is the, I, I want to talk about deals because that's uh, the most interesting thing, of course, when you are a junior VC or you're getting into investing, like you want to look at the best deals and the best startups or investments. And um, yeah, maybe you could explain me what is the flow of getting the best deals and how do you guys share them with the community? Maybe I can explain on it on like a very... Uh, basis level, but I'll let Jen to kind of dig deeper into each of the steps. So um, there's a video that we put together um, that um, now everyone can watch. And that explains the deal process in four simple steps. So the process is quite simple and straightforward. We have four parts. We have voting, uh, which happens, all happens on Discord. We, um, so you vote for the deals. Uh, and if they pass the voting, we move to the diligence stage. That's where we have calls with the founders, with the teams. After that, there's investment, um, which is made from, from GCR. Um, and finally, support. Um, we love to support our portfolio companies through um, GCR Angel Network and any other means uh, possible. So I'll let Jin um, explain every um, step in kind of more detail. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Arthur. So essentially, we can divide the process into four parts. Uh, voting, diligence, investing, and support. For the sourcing side, you can source a project in whatever way you think it makes sense, right? Either via introductions through founders that you know of, or your friends are founders, or you do have friends in other venture capital firms, or you've done a cold outreach on projects that you think are very interesting. Um, once you secured an allocation for GCR saying, hey, like the project is open to speaking with GCR community, given the investment DAO uh, aspect, you can pitch your project to the community to let the members vote if we should move forward with diligence. So this is an open forum where you would be able to post the project with description and what they're doing, 
how much they're raising, and then the members could decide if they want to move forward with a diligence call. So once we hit the minimum threshold of likes to move forward, then we would conduct diligence together. What that means is that we would have a community call with the founders or management team and do a dub double click on the business to understand what the business actually does, who are the founders, the team, uh, the risk, and the good qualities of the project. And then during the diligence process, any member could theoretically ask questions directly to the founders or the management team and get their questions answered. Post diligence, meaning after all the questions have been answered, we can ask the members to opt in to invest or not. As we talked about, we're unique in a way that we do let members to choose to invest in deals that they like and they can pass on deals that they do not like. Unlike other investment DAO where you have to commit certain amount of money upfront. So as we said, um, once we hit the minimum threshold, let's say from the members, which is about 100K, then we will move forward and invest in the project. And this is where the interesting part comes in as a DAO. After investment, we would support the founders with the early product feedback or other needs that they might have from the community like us. And this is where the DAO members could step up and earn carry by supporting the project's post-investment. So hopefully that kind of summarizes how the process works at GCR is pretty transparent and easy to follow from a member's perspective. This is pretty nice because it kind of bridges this gap of like, you know, founder, uh, VC and like support that, that the founders and the team needs. And it's like beyond investing. So you can um, earn something for supporting actually the, the startup. And I think that's really needed for a lot of projects. Like they need a lot of feedback. They need a lot of uh, care from also investors. So I think this really makes a lot of sense. And from your side, Jin, like what are the current trends that you see within the DAO that uh, most people focus on and are most popular right now? I think infrastructure still remains to be the hottest topic, I would say. Like specifically, we are focused on L1s with the emergence of non-EVM chains using new languages such as Aptos, Missing Lab, SUI, and Layers 2, L2s to scale Ethereum to the next level using ZK technology, for instance. So it does make sense at the moment why infrastructure is an area that still remains the hottest topic, right? We still face the same challenges that affected the industry a few years ago, right? Onboarding processes are still difficult, you know, like on-ramp, off-ramp, latencies, slow transaction speeds, security risk hacks. We've seen that a lot in the past few months, despite the market, and the list goes on. And I think, you know, on top of that, the privacy issue is another thing that a lot of people want to solve to make blockchain more accessible for institutions and individuals. So we've seen these developments slowly um, in the form of new projects that have come out in the past two, three years. And hopefully this new protocol designs and stronger and smarter founders in space will be able to achieve this feat with the blockchain technology and cryptography. And then hopefully we're the beneficiary of that as an early investor into these projects. I have a little uh, side question. So for the people who are founding and for the startups um, and they think, or like even if you have a project that you want to submit, um, do you have to be a member of the DAO to submit the projects or how uh, does somebody outside of the, the DAO gets, for example, the deal, like just, just about the deal, right? The founder, how do they get into this investment group? Yes, you do have to be a member, gold member to actually participate in sourcing and pitching a deal. But currently we do have a layer three campaign that's happening for any non-GCR members or GCR members who are not gold members to participate in sourcing a deal and pitching a deal and participate in the process. So we would also share the link below um, after this podcast so that people could participate in bringing deals over that they might think is interesting and they could earn $2,500 in GCR tokens if we do invest in the project. Nice. Um, yeah, we're going to leave all the links down below. And also, I want to know what is some advice that you would give to VC stepping into this space and the Web3 space? Yeah, I think like for folks who have not spent some time in Web3, I think um, keeping an open mind is really important. I think you do have to trust the technology and study the technology so that you're comfortable about the poten potential of blockchain in general. Um, but I do think a lot of the skill sets and the, um, the experience that you have from traditional VC 
is probably applicable to Web3. Like you can use probably the same framework that you've developed in assessing investment opportunities in Web3, right? Like you can look at the team, idea, fundamentals, business model, in this case, alongside with tokenomics instead of unit economics, product market fit, um, go-to-market strategy, and competitive landscape. Those are the same areas that you have to still research and get comfortable around for these Web3 projects. The most difficult part, in my opinion, is just the tokenomics part, which a lot of projects are still working on to make it more sustainable without any inf inflation or any form of retail dump. So I think there's, um, I think Arthur put together this um, inspiration from top investors, but you know there are a lot of strong, smart investors who've had a one-liner for what you should be looking out for, right? Like come prepare from Kochu. Think from first principles, multi-coin, you know, Union Square Ventures guy said value exceptional ideas. Like these words also apply for Web3. So I think as long as you keep an open mind and willing to work with early stage founders, I think you would have a success in this field, in my opinion. And it's just going to take a lot, a long time. So obviously stay patient. Um, I want to ask you both now, um, first of all, what is the, the long-term vision with the DAO? And also, what kind of projects are you guys most excited about? And the last one, I'm wondering why you are so passionate about this specific DAO. Like, what made you be like, this is a project I really want to commit to, and I'm really passionate about this. So, Arthur, if you want to go first, I'd love to hear it. The vision of GCR, uh, with the aim, I guess, is to create a community where everyone feels welcome and engaged. So we want to build like the friendliest, you know, most trusted, most progressive investment DAO out there. By progressive, I mean uh, people get used to to things how they are because it feels comfortable. We kind of try to push um, every single time by introducing. You know, whether it's GCR 2.0, GCR deal dashboard or GCR angel net or and whether it's, it's with the, the kind of future developments we're working on. So uh, at the moment, we uh, want to take lots of processes that are happening on Discord and are done manually and move them onto onto the web and web free. And from there, uh, well, well, we'll see what happens from there. It, like the two to three year period is very long for crypto. That's like, you know, 30 years. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we might be in, in quantum blockchain by that time. I don't know. Um, but we'll, we'll see where it goes. We like new challenges, uh, new innovations. We like trying out things. So when we invest in, in different companies, we um, very, we're very keen to be the the first users um, of their products, uh, of their alpha versions, uh, beta versions. We want to try everything out. Um, the projects that I'm excited excited about or the GCR is excited about, we're excited about stuff that brings both technical and cultural value to the whole web-free community. So by technical, you know, that, that could include new blockchains like SWE and um, by cultural, I mean, communities for knowledge freelancers like Twali, Web3 Social, like, you know, Commonwealth. Um, I really like Lens uh, Protocol as well. So there's just, just so much. But um, I think ultimately it all comes down to uh, the community and just making people uh, feel welcome um, at GCR. My, my turn, I guess. So um, I agree with what Arthur has said. Um, I think for me personally, the reason why I joined GCR was I come from a traditional finance background. I thought the potential of community-driven investing has a place in Web3, given the narrative that they want to empower the individuals more, right? Um, and I do think ultimately investment DAOs like us will have a strong, clear value proposition alongside with these quote-unquote top-tier venture capital firms that would offer more technical support. At the end of the day, when web three in the early innings, like we are, we are, we, you do need a community support. You need a better narrative. You need people to actually use your product and give you feedback. And that's where I think community driven investment efforts like us comes in and could be very helpful. And I think that's the reason why we were able to invest in awesome early stage projects to date. Um, so personally, in the next two, three years, like, I, as I said, I do want to see GCR grow its membership further, make a more significant impact in the VC space where we can coexist 
with top tier venture capital firms. And I think collective power is something we can't dismiss yet at the moment. And I'm excited about the growth personally. Um, personally, in the, on the project side, interested in the ZK scaling space and other large infrastructure projects like Layer Zero that will em- enable a multi-chain world where we're going to see more usage case with blockchain in general. I, I'm just curious and also excited what's going to come out of this technology that we have in place. Yeah, thank you guys both so much for being here with me today. I think this is such a cool project because it makes investing so much more approachable so much more friendly and it just looks like you guys are growing an amazing community that is passionate about cool projects and web3 and investing into those and yeah thank you to everyone who tuned in in today's episode we're gonna leave all the links down below um quickly where can we guys find you on your socials and where can we check out the project quickly uh very straightforward uh we have our own website globalcoinresearch.com discord gcr.community twitter global coin research uh you know uh we'll 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 leave the links down below uh personally uh, i'm on twitter uh, at arthur zipkoff amazing yeah we're gonna leave all the links down below and um go check out the discord go check out the project and i can't wait to see you guys in the next episode don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah we can't wait to have a next new forum with another amazing guest thank you Thank you for having us.